Although the development of COVID-19 vaccine seems quick, Moderna has been investigating our platform for the last 10 years. So every cell that has a nucleus has DNA, and that's really the lockbox for all of our personal information. But then somehow that DNA information needs to get translated into proteins. So DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA in the nucleus, mRNA exits the nucleus, and then then in the cytoplasm of the cell, ribosomes translate that messenger RNA into protein. So a messenger RNA vaccine just capitalizes on that natural process for protein synthesis. We've known probably for about 60 years that messenger RNA uh, could uh, potentially be a way to deliver proteins. We also knew it had adjuvant effects, meaning um, it can actually increase an immune response. It actually took that long to really develop the mechanism to be able to deliver the messenger RNA into the cells. And in fact, we deliver the messenger RNA with a lipid nanoparticle, which is really just a fancy way for speaking about a blob of fat that ensures that that messenger RNA isn't broken down by body's natural mechanisms. So when you get your vaccine in your deltoid muscle, the lipid nanoparticle also helps it target to the lymphatics. And once the lymphatics drain into that lymph node, that's really where there's a high concentration of antigen presenting cells. And those are really the cells that are the target of this vaccine. We're delivering the messenger RNA directly into the cytosol, not altering the DNA, indeed. And the ribosomes then translate that delivered messenger RNA sequence to create a protein that's expressed on the surface of the cell. In the case of COVID-19 vaccine, it's the spike protein that's expressed on the surface of the cell. And then the rest of the immune response happens as it would normally happen if your cell were infected by a virus, only in this case there's no virus, there's just the messenger RNA. The spike proteins hang around for about 48 hours, the messenger RNA up to 72 hours. So they are rapidly degraded like any protein. The immune system actually has been designed to really develop the cells that then recognize that protein again upon reinfection or rechallenge. And that's really how the vaccine then prevents us from getting infected. At the moment, there are two messenger RNA vaccines. So there's the one from Moderna, the one from Pfizer, both of them expressing the spike protein. Moderna is undertaking an exercise to investigate what happens if we swap out the sequence for the original Wuhan strain. Our idea is that SARS-CoV-2 vaccines could become like influenza vaccines, where good epidemiology is tracking what's happening in real time, and then we're able to put the relevant sequence into the vaccine before people would need it. And those studies are actually underway now, both in a priming series and in a booster dose for people that have already received primary vaccination.